Hey guys, checking out this is Can Am Outlander 1000. Here it is. For any of you guys looking to uh, switch to Can Am, I highly suggest it. <laughs> this machine is awesome. Just awesome. At first, I wasn't too fussy on the white, but this was uh, one of their last ones of uh, 2015, so didn't really have a choice. And to be honest, we got a pretty good deal on it, so decided to go with it. They also included these uh, these tires and tires and wheels with it, so couldn't pass it up. But yeah, here it is. So. Like this is the XT package, so it comes with uh, your front rear bumper. Also got your, uh, I think, 2500 or 3500 um, Pro Vantage Warren Winch. You got your uh, XT handguards. Not too bad. I like them. They're good. Work well. Serve its purpose. And we got the power steering. Again, like the Renegade, three different modes. Works wonderful. There it is, the big 1000. 82 horse. We've also added uh, this rear, this rear box here. It's good for when we go out, go back to the bush, cut wood, put two jerry cans in there. Anything else, like a hammer, a small hatchet, whatever you want, you know. Um, these Outlanders, they come with a 2-inch hitch receiver, which isn't bad. I like it. It's good. Renegades don't. So this is kind of a plus over uh, any Renegade. Comes with uh, rear storage as well. Lots of room in there. It is water resistant, but it's not waterproof. Um, you have anything in there that doesn't need, that shouldn't be, shouldn't get wet? Uh, don't put it in there. <laughs> Outlanders, they got a, they got an engine cover here. Um, not like the Renegades. The Renegades are all wide open. Um, a big road tax engine. And the Outlanders, they're different uh, from the Renegades as well when it comes to braking. So they got the rear, or not, I guess it's the rear, but they got uh, the foot brake. And they've only got one hand lever on the left side. Nothing on the right side. Where the Renegade, it's got all three. But yeah, these 1000s, these uh, 82 horse, they love, love, love to drink. Make sure you fuel up every single time you leave the house because uh, you're always going to come back empty. <laughs> Got our park, reverse, neutral, high, and low. Don't really use the park that often, but it's there. But yeah, back to these tires. Uh, these are uh, 28 inch ITP Mega Mayhem. And for being what they are, I think they got inch and a half uh, lug on them. They're actually not too bad on the road. They do quite well that way, and they do really well in the mud. They're sitting on 14-inch uh, uh, MSA chrome wheels. They look pretty good. Look good with the white, in my opinion. But thinking, uh, thinking, I should put a set of these on uh, on that guy over there. Make it look a lot better. But maybe with the black wheels instead of the chrome. For the winter. We got uh, this snowplow, so we're going to use the Outlander as uh, 
as the work for us this winter and uh, leave the Renegade to the play. So hopefully it works well. Used to have uh, Can-Am Outlander 650. Sold it to a friend and uh, went out and got this uh, 1000 Outlander. The 650 is great, awesome power, but it's not even close to what this 1000 puts out. And there's no regrets when it comes to buying that 1000 engine. No regrets. Always thought about getting an 800 or the brand new 850 they've got, but uh, really, really happy we got a 1000. It's because uh, I feel if I got the 800 or 850, I'd always be wondering what's the 1000 like, right? So go big or go home. <laughs> Yeah, a few other things might do to this thing, um, just to kind of make it different, is maybe take the front, the front and rear bumper, and maybe powder coat it red, something to match uh, this red Outlander sticker and the Can-Am, or yeah, the Can-Am sticker here on the rear. And there's also an Outlander sticker here on uh, on the front. So maybe if you paint it up, the front rear bumper, powder coat them red. Maybe that won't look too bad. See what happens. We'll start her up here just to just to show you how it sounds. Well guys, that's it. Thanks for watching.